welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Who Wore It Better. This is kind of a series idea that I came up with. Um, I'm sure the core of the idea is not super original, but I am following other YouTubers' videos of eyeshadow palettes that I have in an effort to be able to try some different techniques and different color combinations and just get some more use out of the palettes that I have to encourage me to stick to my makeup no buy. Let me know in the comments below, do you like to follow other YouTube tutorials for things that you own? I'm finding that it's really a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun um, watching different videos um, to be able to select which one I'm gonna follow for the things that I have. And so, you know, ultimately I only pick one, but I get a lot of inspiration from watching a wide variety. Today, we are going to feature the NARS Summer Unrated Palette. Now, I do know that this, I think, was a limited edition palette, so you might not be able to get this anymore, but I'm here to share with you a tutorial that was very, very quick from NARS themselves. And this, um, tutorial really stood out to me because the model is gorgeous and the eyeshadow look is so simple and very sunsetty, very summery inspired for sure. And of course, as always, I have the original video listed below. Now, the title of this is Who Wore It Better? So you're going to think, did I do a better job than the original makeup artist? or YouTuber? And the answer is probably not, um, because I am most certainly not a makeup artist. This eyeshadow look includes four colors, that's it. And so first, I kind of already have some makeup on. Um, I already have some mascara on. I just took off the eyeshadow that I had at the start of the day. And what we're gonna do first is really what drew me into this look. We're taking this gorgeous purple called Bad Intentions. And we're gonna start out with like a flat brush and we're gonna put that all over the lid. And so that is what I'm going to do for you right now. And I'm only gonna do and like show one lid at a time. So, you know, they just kind of show that they are gently swapping, swapping, um, swiping this shadow all over and I was really drawn to this like I said because of the first application of this purple I have green eyes and purple goes really well with green eyes so there is that and I am loving that I'm gonna stop and apply to the other eye and then we'll do the second step okay so here is that shade bad intentions all over my lids then we're going to take Tai Kao. Maybe that's how you say that. That's actually this um, really like terracotta brown color. And what they do with that is they sweep it um, kind of like here in the crease and even kind of like swiping it a little bit, you know, in this area right here. I hope that I didn't use too much of that. I don't want to take away the gorgeousness of the purple. Now, one thing I will say is they didn't show um, how they prepped the eyelids. So, there's that. I'm going to stop and do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, there are the first two shades applied all to my eyes. And I did kind of take my flat brush and went back in to kind of reapply some of the purple. This is a shimmer, um, so um, it does tend to, like it'll wipe away, swipe away if you're too crazy. So next they take Palmetto, and Palmetto is this beautiful gold color. And we're going to take like, um, I'm gonna do like this smaller brush and we're going to put it in the inner lid and under here. So you're kind of creating this, like I said, sunset look. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
I have never um, thought to do anything like that with this color, which is the really the whole point of this series is for me to get out of my comfort zone and learn and try new things. And I certainly have been having a lot of fun um, doing that. So what I'm going to do is kind of like blend the purple and um, gold together a little bit so it's not quite so harsh. But this was kind of the look that they did. A little bit. Okay. And then the last step is that we take Love on Fire, which is this beautiful like orange gold um, glitter. This is a topper, which is exactly what I am about to go and there you go. What I'm about to go and do with this. They dust, I wrote down that she kind of dusted it. She just like lightly kind of like said a little bit of extra. I think it was a she. I don't know who the makeup artist was. They don't show the person. And just kind of like a little bit over the middle and maybe even it would be pretty to kind of put it up, up top. And I'm going to like do a little bit more mascara and kind of clean up here around the sides a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I just kind of put a little bit of concealer around this area. It's the end of the day. I didn't have a whole lot of like high coverage things happening today on my face. And I do have, I did get a little mascara. I added a little bit more mascara also and some lips. Um, so here is the final look. Super quick, super easy to do. Um, one thing that I learned is to try different shades over here on this inner corner. And something that I'm really, really loving is that the sun settiness look of this um, for sure. I The only thing I wish, um, and I don't know if it's just skin tone difference or application, <laughs> is on the model, this purple looked a lot more purple. And it could be that I don't, I don't have, I didn't have my eyelids prepped really well. Um, again, it, the video didn't show how they prepped her eyelids, but that purple pops on her and it's, it's so, so lovely. I may have put a little bit too much of the um, terracotta shade in my crease. One thing I might do right now is just take like a, a light cream shade and kind of try to clean up this brow bone so that it's not quite so blown out. Because really in the video, everything is focused from like the crease down. So, you know, that, that really very well could be a part of, you know, the difference between mine and the models, which was just beautiful. Anyway, I loved this. Hey, leave me a comment below. What do you think? Do you have the Summer Unrated palette? Um, one thing that I think about this palette, and I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but I feel like this is um, ABH Soft Glam, but better. And so much so that I decluttered my ABH Soft Glam palette because it just wasn't performing like I wanted it to anymore. And this was doing a better job. The pink was um, performing better than the pink in that. The oranges were doing a better job. And there's just a few other like different things that that one didn't have, like this super special like um, glitter shade. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you on my next video. Bye.